time out. That's what I'm taking at the moment. I've been working on the content for my workshop that's going to happen in two weeks time on September 7th in London. But I've also been stuck inside more than I usually am. And I needed to have some of the cobwebs that have gathered in my head be blown away, be cleared out. And usually I come here um, or somewhere like here at the end of the day. But um, this felt like the right time to come up here now in the middle of the day and not simply push through and wait until the evening. Now, I've done that many times in the past. Simply push through and I know many of you are probably doing that right now as well. Sometimes it's really important to, take, to look up from where we are going, from the trail that we are on, to find out if we're still on the right trail. Sometimes literally, there's a hike around here where that is not uh, truly marked but it is an official hike and it's very easy to not get lost but to, to, to take the wrong trail when you're not concentrating and I'm embarrassed to say that that happens to me almost every single time I hike that trail because there's a point where the wildlife just goes straight ahead and we humans have to take a turn and especially when I'm not concentrating and especially when I'm hiking with other people and I'm in a conversation at that same point almost every single time I go straight where I should take a turn to the left now when that happens on that particular trail that's not so bad because the trail peters out very quickly and you very quickly find that you're on the wrong track and it's therefore also very easy to track back and get back on the main trail again. But sometimes when we're so caught up in all the doing of everything, everything that we have to do, of everything that's on our to-do list, we get so focused on that that we forget to look up from our desks, from our meetings, from our emails, and look around and, and think, are we still going in the right direction? Am I still going towards the vision that I have for my business, for my life, or both? Or do I have to stop and take in my surroundings and perhaps take a cut off or a, a trail that leads in a different direction because I find that I have, I'm div diverging away from my vision and I'm I've started moving towards somebody else's vision or another business's vision or I'm comparing myself too much with others and I'm no longer doing what makes me and my vision unique. So if you're in a space like that, if you feel, if you know that you're totally caught up in the doing of everything that comes with living and everything that comes with running a business then perhaps it is time to take a time out to stop what you're doing to look up and look around and maybe even literally come out into nature go out into nature not just for a couple of minutes not just for a couple of hours but actually for a couple of days just so that you can truly clear the cobwebs and start looking at things with a fresh, fresh view, fresh eyes, with a cleared mind and be able to see much better what it is that needs doing right now and also what it is that needs doing in the future between where you are now and where you want to be when it comes to your vision instead of just blindly going down that trail that you're now on and perhaps ending up somewhere else than where you want to be so if this speaks to you and you would love to come into nature together with joe courtney of inner synergy i'll be coaching and guiding a three-day trek 
on October 17th through 20th in Cornwall. And I'll be doing, like I said, I'll be doing a workshop in London on September 7th in um, Richmond's Park, which is a beautiful nature reserve, preserve in the middle of London, with lots of fallow deer, lots of red deer and other wildlife that I'm sure we get to enjoy when we are there. More information in the link below, daregreatlycoaching.com. And um, if you can't come to the, mount to the mountains, where I am right now in Austria, or to Cornwall, or even to London, be sure to take a time out wherever you are. Go outside into your garden, go for a walk around the park, but take a time out. Clear the cobwebs off your, out of your head, look up and decide whether or not you're still on the right track. As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.